Hello, everybody. Okay, so I was sent some messages last night, late last night, um, to do a read. Apparently, there is another five-year-old that has gone missing. Um, his name is Michael Vaughn from Idaho. Now, I don't know anything really about the case except for... I believe it was this week, um, this past week, he went missing from Idaho. So we are going to try and see what we can get regarding little, um, how old is he? Five years old, Michael Vaughn, who is missing. And ask my ancestors to please connect with my guardian angels, with Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, and Archangel Raphael, to please bring us the answers that we seek regarding the Satan Michael Vaughn. I ask that you connect with little Michael's guardian angels, spirit guides, so we can find out where he can be found, what happened. Any information that you can give us in the hopes of finding a little Michael. I'm going to ask for... Okay, I haven't started yet, you guys. And as you guys all know, I'm having problems with my hand. i got to go for surgery. Um, I'm going to ask if you haven't seen these ancestor reads before. This is my ancestor deck. It was made specially for me. I connect very well with this deck as it is based on my ancestors. Okay, so I'm going to ask that you please like this video. Give it a share out. Get the word out regarding this read in the hopes of maybe Sparking somebody's memory or assisting in finding Michael. And I will explain this read to those who haven't seen how this read works. I will explain it as I'm doing. So we're going to ask for this situation regarding Michael Vaughn. Little five-year-old missing Michael Vaughn. I ask the ancestors my ancestors for the situation regarding Michael Vaughn. Okay, thank you. Okay, so this is a situation. So there's many steps to this read, and especially that it's done with my ancestor deck. I'm very connected to this deck. The deck is very connected to me. And I find this is one of the most clarified reads that I can do. Again, I'm going to say that this is for, for entertainment purposes only. The, the interpretation of these cards are in my opinion only. And with that being said, let's get into this. So this is a situation. So in the main part of the situation, we've got something about a child, which fits. Michael is a five-year-old, little five-year-old who is missing in, I believe, Idaho. Okay, so what we have to look into deeper, we have something regarding the future. In the secret position, we've got the searching. Okay, so this is the situation. Now, this is going to connect with the rest of the cards that come out, and I will explain it as we go. And we are going to figure out from all the cards once they're out what exactly has happened, and I will explain as we go along what I am getting. So I'm going to now ask my ancestors for the messages regarding little Michael Vaughn. What has happened with him? What information can you give us regarding little Michael? Why did he go missing? Where can we find him? Anything that you can give us regarding little Michael Vaughn. Thank you. Oh boy. 
Okay, so these are the messages. I'm going to pull these cards down so I can make sure you guys all see them. Okay, so how this works, you guys. This is the situation. This is the main part of the situation here. This is what we need to look into deeper. And this is in the secret position. Okay? It all connects. This is the head. This is the end. This is the in-between. Okay? So it connects each way. Just like the head of your body connects to, to everything. Your body, your arms. Okay? So right away I have got the genocide. This is not good to come out in the first set in the read. Okay? So I'm getting something about genocide. Genocide talks about harm being done um, in mass numbers or something being done before. I've also got a female connected to the genocide. I've got something about a female. Um, right now, this is telling me I know that Michael is not a female child. So I am thinking that there is a female that is involved. It's connected to the genocide. Got something about stealing. Now, I don't know how that is fitting in yet. Once all the cards come out and we get clarification on the cards, this will all make sense. Now, I don't know anything about this, this read except for he went missing, I believe, this, this past week or the week before. And he's nowhere to be found. And he's five years old. He's from Idaho. I will look up information, see what I can get from Canada. We really can't get a lot of the news. Things are blocked, a lot of it for us. But there are places that we can go to try and get some, any information. I don't like to go on to the other YouTube channels because um, to get information, to maybe help me figure this out um, after I'm done my read because there's there can be a lot of, theories just thrown in there, right? So I want to get it from a news outlet or sheriff's department or something. So I will go and see what I can find out afterward. And this will make a lot more sense to me. Right now, this is going to make more sense to the people that are close to the investigation and people in the area that know what happened or have heard what happened. <sighs> okay, so we got the genocide. So I see some harm being done. Okay. I've also got that there's a female connected to this, something about stealing, and I do have the child. I believe that this is little Michael. So this is the main part, and this is the situation. So this is what we really have to focus on, is these cards here. These cards here just help us clarify what happened. This is the main situation, okay? What we got to look into deeper, okay? We get, again, we have the genocide. We have the roads. So when I get roads, this tells me that he's not where he should be or he's been taken down a road. Okay. So where he should have been, he's, he's down the road. Okay. So this tells me about traveling. He's been taken. He's not going to be found in like, uh, in the neighbor's backyard or something like that. He's been taken from where he should have been. Okay. Now in between all this, why this happened. And like I said, we've got to look into this deeper. We've got something about the future. So there's something going on here that is connected to the future with this child and the searching. Okay. Um, what I am, the feel I'm getting from this right now is the harm, the harm happening being taken down the roads and somebody is con concerned about their future or the future with this. We're going to get into that. We're going to get clarification on all these cards. <clears throat> Please excuse my cough. It's been really cold and damp here. So my allergies are through the roof. Okay. Again, with the genocide, the genocide connects everything. Okay. It's in the head. We've got somebody who's wearing a mask. So when we get this card, this means that somebody involved in this situation is hiding behind a mask. So in other words, they're one way behind closed doors and one way maybe in front of the media, in front of other people, 
but they're hiding behind a mask. This is also in a secret position. So this tells me that this person is, is hiding things that they know regarding little Michael gone missing. I've got something about neglect with this person who's wearing a mask. I've also got the genocide connected to this. Okay. So I don't know right now if these are the same people, person, the female wearing the mask, or if this is somebody else. Okay. We will get clarification and that will come out as we go. But I've got something about neglect too. <coughs> just let me take a, a sip of my trusty coffee here. Just try and get rid of this itch in my throat. We've also got the searching. Okay. So this is telling me in this position here that somebody is hiding something regarding the searching that's going on. Okay. So we're going to move these up and we are going to go in for now for clarification on these three bottom cards, which is the, the situation. Okay. So I'm going to ask my ancestors for please for clarification into the situation regarding Michael Vaughn. Why is the child of future and the searching card here? Can you please give us some clarification as to why these cards are here? What they mean? How do they connect to missing Michael Vaughn? for clarification into the situation regarding the microphone. Whoops. Okay, so if you guys have not seen this read, this type of read done, anything that flies out of the deck, I believe it's the person who I'm reading has something that they need to add to this that they don't think is going to come out in the read, which can give us some more clarification. Asking for clarification into the situation regarding little Michael Vaughn to the child of future the searching. Can you please give us some clarification into the situation regarding Michael Vaughn. Okay. Remember what he said about the roads, you guys? Okay, so this is the situation. This is the clarification cards on the situation. So I've got the child, which I believe is Michael, and I've got the past. Okay, so this tells me that this, the reason this happened had to do with something with this child in the past. Okay, so maybe there was things that come up, came up regarding this child in the past or maybe something that the child continued to do. Okay, um, this also tells me that the child was missing before they reported him missing. But this is, I'm also getting the feeling that there was things that this child had been doing. And I mean, I don't know what this can be because this child was very young. Um, when I get this, usually, um, if this isn't the child card, if this would have been like the male or female card, um, I would feel like things that this person had been doing over and over that really peeved somebody off. But this is a child, but that is the feeling I'm getting that there's something that this child was doing and had been doing it for some time that was upsetting, um, that maybe got under somebody's skin. But this is also telling me that the child did not go missing when it's being said that he went missing. I think it was a little bit before. Okay, so with what we got to look into deeper in the situation, okay, we are reading it this way right now. There's something about a male concerned about his future. 
<coughs> and this is an adult male worried about his future. Now, until we get all the cards out, I don't, I don't want to say that this male right now is involved, but I'm seeing this male concerned about his future. Don't forget, this is what we've got to look into deeper. And you see this in the secret position? We've got the distance, searching. They've got to go further out than what they're doing now. Like I said, up here with the roads, with what we've got to look into deeper, also in the secret, he has been taking a distance. And that's where they need to be searching. So I didn't know why that searching card was there. I thought maybe they were hindering the search um, at some point. But this is telling me that they need to be searching further out. Because um, I'm being told he's been taken from that area. So they need to expand their search. I don't think he is very much further from what I'm getting right now. But I'm seeing that he's outside of the search area right now. And he was taken there because I see the roads. And I believe he was taken there by this male who's concerned about his future. But let's get into this. Let's go in for clarification now on the messages. So I'm going to ask my ancestors, please, for clarification into the messages here regarding a Michael Vaughn, five years old, missing from Idaho. We're asking for clarification from the ancestors regarding the messages regarding Michael. Vaughn, little missing Michael Vaughn. Asking for clarification on the messages regarding little Michael Vaughn. Okay, so we are going to start at the head. I'm getting a thank you. And it's surrounding this genocide. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. This is the head. Somebody... Somebody is saying thank you and it has to do with this harm that was done. So I am seeing that somebody is helping cover something up. It has to do with this female and this partner who's hiding behind a mask. Now... We're going to look into the main part of the situation, okay? That's here. And don't forget, it all connects here and across here. This is all part of the situation, but this is the main part right here, okay? This is going to help clarify. I've got, with this female, a change of plans. Something popping up. So, I do not believe that this was premeditated, but I believe that something happened, and it happened like that. This wasn't something that was planned. I think somebody could have snapped on this child because he kept repeating things over and over that whatever this is, I feel 
that this child had been doing something over and over again. And I think this, whoever this is, snapped. Snapped. I see a female, something popping up, a change of plans. So I believe this female knows what happened. I don't think the female harmed the child. Or it wasn't in her nature to be harmful towards children, but something changed. Something changed. I see something popping up. I also see some, something about drugs stealing and drugs so there may be a drug problem here okay so somebody may be and this could also mean alcohol some kind of drug something that impaired your thought process made you do something that you normally wouldn't do you know when we all get drunk we do things that we we normally don't do or under the influence of drugs I'm going to need more clarification. We'll see what comes out here, you guys. But right now, I'm seeing somebody thankful for something being covered up. Um, something popped up here with this female. And it's regarding, and I see, like, the dark cloud tells me that the, the, this child did something over and over. And I think somebody snapped. I'm seeing it here with a male. And now this male is concerned about his future. This is what we got to look into deeper. Also with the genocide. Okay. The roads and unsafe. This male, I feel, took Michael away from the area because he knew that it was unsafe to leave him there. I think that he is more concerned about his future and what this entails. And, and like I said, I don't think that this was something planned, but I think somebody snapped. I got the female here with the genocide, and I've also got somebody covering up for the partner. got the male here concerned about his future I've also got neglect and the reunite um, this is in the secret position okay I don't know why I'm getting the reunite with the neglect but I think that there was some other problems maybe in a relationship where somebody was doing some things they shouldn't have been doing. And in doing so was neglectful of Michael. And again, we got the searching and that he's outside of where they're searching. I've also got here that he was taken outside of that because it was unsafe to leave things the way it was where this happened um little michael couldn't be left there he had to been he had to be taken somewhere else and this has to do with some male's future okay he's more concerned about his future and what that would look like if this is found out but i am seeing some stealing going on also a drug or alcohol problem or this happened while somebody was under the influence of drugs or alcohol. So let's go into these cards. Okay, you see this? I've got something about a grandparent. I think with the grandparent, I also got the cardinal, which is a spirit bird. It's almost like a 
cardinal comes to warn you for your own good. It's unlike the crow. The crow co comes to tell you and warn you about bad, evil people. The cardinal comes to warn you about things that may happen or things that you don't know about so you can take proper action. And I feel that this has something to do with a grandparent. So maybe one of the grandparents warning the parents about something. I see something that should have been a celebration, but there was a fight. Some kind of argument, some kind of fight. Did that have to do with this neglect and the reunite? I don't know. But I'm seeing where something should have been celebrated. There was a fight about it. And I'm getting that the grandparents warned one of the parents of Michael about this. And I think there was, warned them about something. And a fight broke out about it. So I think that there's a lot more to this story that hasn't come out. But I'm getting that this male is, is I would lean more towards if there is a toss up um, that people are thinking um, of who possibly could have done this. I'm saying my cards are telling me that it is a male. And the male is more worried about his future. But I do see a female finding out about it. Something popping up. I think the female knows. And she's covering for the partner. Okay. But I am saying that he has been taken outside of where they are searching. I've got the roads and I've got the distance. So he's been taken a little ways outside. And I feel like this had to be done to protect this male's future. But I do see that this was something that the child, um, I think somebody snapped. And I believe it's because this child was doing something over and over that maybe irritated one of these people. And they just snapped. But I do see somebody under the influence here. And maybe possibly stealing somebody's medication but somebody under the influence of drugs or alcohol. And I do believe that he was gone before they reported him missing. Okay, is this, I'm gonna get, try and grab, can you maybe give us a couple of more cards? Give us a little bit more information to solidify some of what I am getting from this. I'm going to ask for the cards to pop out if there's anything else that could help explain what we have in front of us. Whoops. In front of us here. Is there anything else that could give us some more information regarding the cards that have can? So I'm, I'm getting that somebody didn't listen. Okay. I'm getting thrown away. When I get thrown away, this means that the person was disposed of like yesterday's trash. So I believe that he is going to be in something. He was put into something and disposed of. And I think if people listen to what's being said... There's clues there, but I'm, I'm feeling he is in something. He was put in something and then disposed of. He was taken and I'm getting up, up the road. So if there is like, say they live here and this road is flat, it's not there. And this goes up like a hill. It's up there and it's a little bit of a distance. It's outside of where they are searching. Yeah, there was a fight where something should have been celebrated. So what was coming up? Was there a birthday? Was there an anniversary? Was there something coming up that should have been celebrated? And it wasn't. There was a fight. And I've got that the Cardinal with the grandparents. This tells me about somebody being warned. 
somebody being told information and I think it's coming from a grandparent but there's some information that this grandparent maybe can give but I think this grandparent has some vital information also so I would speak to the grandparents of this little boy because I think there's things that have gone on to in the past that this these grandparents know about and that they could give vital information. They may not think that it's important right now, but I think that it is because this tells me, you guys, that this is because of something this child did over and over and somebody snapped. That's what I'm getting. And the female is covering the partner, the mask, the partner, there's a male. So I think this female is covering for this male. But I am getting, I asked for a little bit more clarification. I'm getting to listen. I think that there's things that are not making sense or adding up because he was put in something and then tossed, thrown away like yesterday's, and it's up the road, and it's a little distance. It's outside of where they are searching. So when I get the searching with the distance card, it, he's outside of that area that they are searching. So that is my read. I think I will go, I will wait a few days, and I will go in for another read with one of my other decks. Um, this is the, the deck that I go to when there is, especially a missing child, um, I go to this deck because this is my ancestor deck. I'm very connected to this and my ancestors are very connected to me. And the only intentions they have is to see me do well. So I feel very connected. The messages that I get um, from these cards, I also get intuitively. My ancestors help me decipher what these are meaning. Um, but these are all connected to things that have happened throughout you know, the people that I love, my ancestors and their life and things that they have done. That's why I'm so connected to this. But I'm getting that there is a male that's scared for his future now. So I hope that this bear brings a little bit of clarity. I am going to go online and see if there's anything that I can find out. This was done pretty quickly. It was asked for last night when I found out that it was a child again. Um, my heart just goes out for children. I just wanted to get this done. So I will go online and see what I can find out, see if I can't even get a little a picture maybe of little Michael. I don't know how much information will be out there at this point, but and what information I can access from Canada. So let me go and do that. I want to get this reading up for you guys, and I will do an updated read maybe in a couple of days to see with the other decks what information that I can get that comes out um, that can maybe even help clarify some of this. Okay, so thank you for watching. Please hit that like button. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And please share this out where you can. Until next time, please take care of yourselves. Please stay safe. Bye-bye for now.